Okay, every spring I like to do a video like this. I'm sure you've been waiting with bated breath for it. Probably don't remember the last one actually, but it's mango season, guys. Time to eat mangoes is fast approaching. Time to watch them grow is happening now. Uh, I've got three mango trees. I really should have, realistically, I should probably have about 30 different kinds if I had all the ones I wanted, but they're all quite different. This is a Tommy Atkins mango, and it's a reliable producer of mangoes. It's going to crank out uh, beautiful mangoes with almost no blemishes. The taste is so-so. It's, it's good, but not great. But you can see, this is a good example of how mango flowers happen. They come out and they bloom all of this, very, by the way, very uh, allergenic kind of pollen. And then, because mango is actually a relative of poison ivy, little do you know, that's why it can really irritate people's skin to touch the leaves. My daughter has a real problem with touching the leaves or getting the sap. But it will grow all these flowers, and then most of them will just turn into this dry, this dry stuff and fall off. But some of them will form into little guys like these two little mangoes. They're tiny little mangoes. And eventually you'll get like one or two. And on this variety you'll have some that where like three can happen on a single branch. Like this one. Now look at this one. This one actually has set on its particular, on its particular branch. And it's got a few more on the bottom that are competing that may or may not happen. But it's likely going to be the one that wins. And if you look up into the branches, you can see that's happening throughout. So this one is a reliable producer. I had to trim it way back prior to one of the big hurricanes, and it's come back already from that. Now, we've got one over here called Edward, our Edward mango tree, which is a Philippine, Filipino type. And uh, it finally got above the sprinklers, which the sprinklers for mango leaves are just the rain of death. And here's where the rain of death ends in my yard, right about here where the sprinklers go above it now it's growing well every year it tries to sprout and uh, gets kind of beaten back by the salty irrigation I have this year it is above it and uh, it sent out one lonely mango we have high hopes for that guy but uh, I gotta say I wouldn't bet on it and uh, that's oh I have one more two chances to win that's not a very big one, but we'll hope for that one too. And I think that's it. So two mangoes made it out of the whole tree this year there, and hopefully it'll produce. And then if you look up here, you'll see the badly wind-beaten Hayden mango, which is a hybrid. It's an Indian-Indonesian uh, variety of mango. So, But you can see, although it was beaten back, it is sure had not been beaten because it has got fruit forming all over it. And uh, my main thing was not to over-trim it back because I wanted to have at least, I did on the other side because it was uh, in bad shape, but on this side I left it whole so that I could get fruit. That's one way to trim big mango trees like this, is trim one side at a time each year to offset the fruit impact. It's a pretty hardy tree once they get going, but this one's gotten pretty woody just because it's old. So that's what's happening mango-wise. Uh, pretty soon I'll be so showing you the videos of what the mangoes look off the tree, on the plate, and uh, then down the hatch. So if you like this kind of video, you like mangoes, Really, who doesn't like mangoes would be a better question. But if you like to vi watch videos like this, go ahead and watch Eat Your Backyard. Subscribe, and thank you for watching Eat Your Backyard.